Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to use the equal constraint to make sure that uh, two edges are the same length. So I'm going to be drawing a bracket for this example and the top part of this bracket I want uh, two edges on the left and right side to have the equal length no matter what. So I'm going to draw this in the front plane so I'll just I'm going to the front view click sketch make sure I've clicked on the front plane and I've got a new sketch here that I can draw out. What I'll do is I'll just use the center point rectangle tool and I'll click in the origin there and just draw that out. Not too worried about the uh, dimensions here, but I might make it, uh, I'll just click and I'll type in 80. Oh, sorry, uh, I'll make it uh, say uh, 60 by 80. Like that. Okay, all right, so both sides are dimensioned there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another rectangle overlapping at the top here, but this time I'll use the corner rectangle tool and I'll just click up uh, somewhere along here and draw down making sure it's in line with the origin there um, horizontally and I'll just click there. All right, now I don't know that both uh, of the uh, these sides here are the same length, so this section here and this section over here, they don't look to be the same length. What I want to do is cut out this section here, this overlapping rectangle. So I'm going to use the, scissor, the trim tool, little scissors there, and I click that line there, and there's actually two, so I'll click it again. And now that top section there is cut out, so I'll just get off the trim tool for now. But what I, wanted to, what I want to do is make sure that this top edge here and this top edge over here are both the same length, they're both equal lengths. So I'm going to use the equal constraint to do that. Now I can select both lines holding down the shift key and then use the equal constraint tool and it will just uh, make them both the same length. It will just uh, pick the shorter line and, and make them both um, that, that same length. But if I've got a specific um, measurement I want them to both be, what I can use is the uh, dimension tool. So I'll just click that. And I'm going to dimension this top line here. So I'll click on one end of it and then the other end. And then I'll just move my mouse up a little bit and then click and type in a value. So I might want this to be say 15 millimeters. So I'll just type in 15, hit return or enter. And now that's set to 15 millimeters. Now what I want to do is make this line also 15 millimeters. So I'll just get off the dimension tool and now I'm going to select both lines, I'll click this line here, hold down shift, click the other line, and I can click on the equal constraint tool to make both uh, lines equal. So I'll just click that, and now they're both the same, the same length. You might not see the equal, uh, uh, equal constraint tool up here to start off with, so if you don't see it, it's just hidden somewhere, click on search tools, type in equal, and then you can click on that and it will appear up here on your toolbar to use. So any tools that you don't see, uh, don't forget you can search for them up here and then add them to your toolbar. Okay, now uh, if I'll just click off the equal constraint tool. If I wanted to say, um, like I've changed my mind and I wanted this to actually be 20 millimeters now, I can just double click on that measurement there, type in 20. And now not only has this line changed length, but also this one has changed length too. So using the equal constraint means that uh, two edges that I've selected are going to have the same length no matter what. All right, so if I change one, uh, then the other will also change their constraint uh, um, to the same length. All right, uh, now if I wanted, I can click on the green tick to finish off this sketch uh, and I can go ahead and extrude it. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, that's how to use the equal constraint tool. Thanks for watching.